Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to do an update on the whole Kevin Hart situation. So as you guys know, I've been covering from day one this whole cheating scandal that went down with Kevin Hart when he cheated on his pregnant McRib, okay? So what's going down is that basically the other day, the authorities caught who was trying to extort Kevin Hart. And now that the person's name has been put out there, Kevin Hart is in shock, okay? So the person who was extorting Kevin Hart was basically one of his very good friends. He's been very close with this man for the past 15 years. His name is Jonathan Todd, but he goes by the name TJ Jackson. And he's been in a lot of blockbuster films that Kevin Hart himself has gotten his friend into those roles. You know what I'm saying? When actors went to go audition for those roles and they got those roles, Kevin Hart would basically come behind those actors who booked those roles and say, you know what? My friend is going to be in this movie. So he's, you know, that's how much Kevin Hart has looked out for him, that he's taken roles from other people to put this man in the movie. You see pictures of him with Kevin Hart, The Rock. He appeared in the movie Naked and Think Like a Man. So, you know, he definitely was Kevin Hart's right-hand guy. And when Kevin Hart found out who it was, he took to social media and he basically said that he was devastated. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these tweets from Kevin Hart. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, y'all, so you guys just saw what Kevin Hart had to say. All I can do is just shake my head at the situation, but I do want to say this, okay? First of all, you know, while I do feel bad for Kevin, that has to be very hurtful because this is somebody he considered a friend who he looked out for, you know what I'm saying, who he gave movie roles to, included him in his business and stuff like that. And one thing I will say to people, especially people who are acquiring fame, you know, YouTubers and, you know, Instagram models and you know e-famous people and just regular people acquiring fame in the real world just because you have a best friend or just because you have friends that you're close with and you know you feel like you know deep down inside you haven't changed you're still the same goofy person the same you know down to earth person but the sad part is some of your friends do become envious you know I've gone through this and I know many of you guys have probably gone through this as well as you start doing better and as you start elevating those same friends that were really close to you and they see you making money moves and business moves they start to feel some type of way you know what I'm saying that's why you have to really know who's in your inner circle and if you can trust them because sadly no matter how much you look out for people no matter how much you try to include them in your success and in your happiness sometimes that jealousy over powers them you know what I'm saying and this is what happens when you look out for a homeboy but they're low-key jealous and they're low-key envious of you and this is why you have to get your discernment levels up this is why you have to have a very strong discernment so when people around you start changing and start acting some type of way you got to fall the fuck back you know what I'm saying and like the old saying goes when somebody shows you who they are believe them okay when you ask somebody to do something for you or to help you with something and they say that they're going to and then they don't do it and it's happening been multiple times at that point in time just cut them off there's no point in answering their phone calls there's no point in talking to them obviously you two are in two different wavelengths you know what I'm saying so definitely strengthen up your discernment so you don't end up like a Kevin Hart because I know he has to be devastated by this but with that being said I also have to call him out while he's hurt and while he's devastated he was the one who took his vows, okay? He had no business cheating on his McRib. He had no business, you know, disrespecting her. Had he not put himself in a situation to where he was getting ready to smash somebody else, his homeboy, his own best friend, wouldn't have been able to set him up. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like what came first, the chicken or the egg. Had Kevin Hart not been in a situation where he was cheating and his friends were all in the house, he would not have been in that situation in the first place. The person seen an opportunity and he jumped on it. He knew that Kevin was going to cheat once again because this is his best friend. He's with Kevin all the time. So he probably knows the moves that Kevin's going to make sexually. And then that's when he ran to place the hidden camera and everything else. And you know, truth be told, how do we know the girl wasn't involved? She says that she wasn't involved, but you never know. Maybe he might have said, you know, if you set up Kevin, I'll bring you around Kevin. We can set him up, split it 50-50. So you never know sometimes how so-called friends can do people and how they can set you up. And that's why you you have to be careful even like with a lot of these robberies that we hear about that happens like in the Hollywood Hills and in these celebrities homes I feel like a lot of those robberies are due to friends are due to people who know the inner workings of the celebrity's house and who knows the ins and outs of somebody's household and I feel like that's why a lot of that stuff happens so you have to be very careful 
the bigger you are and even the older you are and the more wise you become, the smaller your circle gets. So definitely strengthen that discernment. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Kevin Hart finding out that his so-called best friend basically, you know, stabbed him in the back and tried to extort him for over $10 million. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you're interested in my look and what I'm rocking, all of that information will be in the description box. And if you're looking for advertising or sponsorships, all of my contact information will be down below in the description box as well. Thank you so much for your support and stay tuned for the next video.